Was the beta good? Yes. Is this the most hyped Halo since Halo 3 for me? Absolutely. Is Halo Infinite going to birth a new generation for Halo fans? Well, now, this was only a beta and we didn't even get to play other players. We were playing against bots, which I got to say, by the way, the bots are freakishly good. There were multiple times that the bots could have went in on us and they would just like stop shooting halfway just to let us win. Actually, let me just focus on the bots real quick. The bots concern me so much that I think there will be a day when the best Halo team will not be able to beat the best bots in Halo. There were times that bots absolutely shot on me, and it's impressive how good 343's AI is, which leads me to believe that the campaign for this game could potentially be next level. Guys, I'm going to talk about the beta, how things felt, what Halo really nailed, how I felt leaving Halo, which is obviously sadness, and what I think Halo's future is looking like. First up, let's talk about the gunplay. Listen, the last time I really dedicated time to Halo was Halo Reach. We also played Halo for a little bit and I played very little Halo 5. But understand, I was a huge Bungie fan. So when Bungie started making Destiny, I jumped over to Destiny, would still dabble from time to time back in Halo. And I always felt like Halo was like my first love when it came to first person shooters, right? Like Halo will always have a place in my heart alongside RuneScape. Halo taught me how to shit talk in lobbies. RuneScape taught me the importance of pretending to be a girl. Fellas, we had to make ends meet. Regardless, I've always loved Halo. But playing this Halo felt a lot different than any previous Halo I felt. It's fluidity, it's movement, it's slide abilities, it's grapples. Check out this clip. Look at this guy. This crazy man grapples a gravity hammer to himself. There's all kinds of playmaking potential here outside of what I remember being inside of Halo games. You know what it reminds me of with this movement? This is Destiny meets Halo. We have this level of movement inside of Destiny, the slide especially. And even though there's like a lot of people that want boots on the ground, listen, I'm fighting a bunch of aliens, all right? If I want to grapple around or at least slide for God's sake, let me do it. But the movement overall wasn't crazy. It wasn't overly jumpy. Again, the word fluid is going to be brought up a bunch here, and that's exactly what the gameplay felt like. And I know Halo 5 had thrusting as well as sprinting, and it's been a minute since I played Halo 5, but one thing I did take note of about Infinite is how well everything seamlessly went together. From your grapple abilities into your sprints, into your slides, to being able to almost shoot instantly coming out of your sprint, I actually really like where Infinite sits on on this spectrum of movement. Now the weapons. Oh, the weapons. A number of weapons, some of which I've never seen that I'm assuming is new here to Halo Infinite. Again, I didn't play much of five, but some returning ones as well. I think one of my favorite weapons is the Pulse Carmine, which I was using wrong until I realized that I should just be using it to break the shields of my enemies. Again, such a new move. I should know this. We should know this. This is how long it's been. You've got the Needler. You've got shotguns. You've got this weapon called the Skewer, which I couldn't understand. Was it a sniper? Was it something else? I don't know. It just kill people and it killed them in a really cool satisfying way on top of that some of the weapons had alternate firing modes there was this power weapon i picked up i think it was called the heat wave where it can shoot vertical or you can actually change the firing mode and it can shoot horizontal doesn't really matter i still suck with it and i'm pretty sure i'm not using it right which even brought another level to these weapons you gotta know how to use them you gotta know how to fire them which is another added layer of skill level which i very much liked i also want to bring up the br my god why this gun feels so satisfying to use more so than ever before for, I don't know. I don't know what's different about this BR and previous BRs. This thing just felt good. And again, all this gameplay is taking place on mouse and keyboard. From what I've seen from other players, though, controller obviously feels fantastic. What I can say, though, from the amount of time that I was playing, though, on mouse and keyboard, man, my aim started off so poopy. Halo actually made me recognize how bad my aim was in other games, right? But dude, after playing for a number of hours, I could feel my aim getting so much better because of this game. Like, for real, Halo Infinite may become like my new aim training game. Overall, though, I was very pleased with the gunplay for this game. I've always liked gunplay inside of Halos, but this one felt even better. Now, circling back to some things that were different, though, that I recognized. First up, is collision no longer a thing in Halo? There were many times I would go kill someone with a gravity hammer, and they would just fall to the ground. Which I gotta say, that, that kind of takes away from what I'm used to. Like, when you slam someone with a gravity hammer, and their body would, like, fly 30 meters. It was fun watching that in Halo, seeing bodies getting ragdolled when there was crazy explosive kills. Maybe there's some competitive reasoning for why Halo's moved away from that. And I'm not even sure when Halo's done this. Like, is this the first time? Maybe it's just the first time I'm recognizing it. But that collision doesn't seem to exist anymore inside of Halo. Now, you can also pick up abilities that were spread out throughout the map. My understanding, or at least the only ones I saw, were the overshield, the cloaking, grappling, barricade, and there was like one other one you could pick up where you can like shoot this proximity mine that would ping where your targets are. Kind of gave me Valorant vibes. Now, I know 
know there are some more like team-based abilities that people were hoping for. We actually read on Reddit, there was a number of people asking, what about the regen field or an outright bubble? I have no idea if those things are coming. I do get the feeling that Halo's trying to avoid being an ability simulator and focus more on gunplay rather than have an entire team stacking in a bubble or a regen field. And again, maybe those things will be available in more objective game modes. Regardless, I did enjoy all the different abilities that were available. But what I can say about Halo after playing this weekend overall is that other FPS games felt outdated when going back to them. And that is not a term I use lightly. Some games are fun, some games are timeless, and then some games just feel next gen. Halo Infinite felt like a next gen experience. From the UI, to the color palette and its realism, to the map designs, which was arcadey in nature, but simultaneously very realistic, Halo Infinite felt like a next gen Halo game. And more than that, a next gen game. A lot of the games we're still getting right now, they don't feel truly next gen, which sucks considering we're just coming off the backs of newly launched consoles. Halo Infinite seems to capture that next gen look. And if they have the story and the narrative to simultaneously go with this game, man, I think it'll be the best Halo game ever, ever. And I've got Halo 3 players right now slamming their phones. But I'm telling you fellas, if they've got the narrative to go along here, which by the way, I'm completely lost on. As someone came into the stream the other day and said that Halo 5 is not actually canon, I did play the campaign, so now I'm even more confused. So I'm not even sure exactly how the narrative takes place. But see, that's exactly what 343 is going to have to do in this next title. They're going to have to take someone like me with a fragmented understanding of the narrative, give us a new narrative, a new reason, a new purpose in this universe, and just let it fly. We don't need to go into this next Halo game with 100 hours of experience and lore understanding, although that obviously enriches whatever it is we're going to be playing in the future. If 343 can capture our attention with the narrative and provide this next gen gameplay experience in its multiplayer, I think this game has potential to be game of the year. And as far as like its PvP, I think it definitely threatens a lot of PvP games. Destiny especially. I love Destiny. We play Destiny all the time. But for the most part, other games that have been coming out have been Battle Royale PvP games. Halo is looking to be back as the dominant arena shooter. And other arena shooters, in my opinion, will bleed because of it. So guys, that is my thoughts on the Halo Infinite beta this past weekend. Overall, I had a great time. I'm excited to see if they actually do another flight test. Hopefully, they'll open up PvP. I know they opened up PvP for like a couple hours. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch it, but maybe the next flight will have open PvP. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought about Halo. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.